Yo, what's going on people? It's your boy Eight Pancho back at you again with another video. And so far 2020 has been quite a bumpy ride and at this point nothing really surprises me but you know what I didn't have on the cards though was that an oil tanker would be getting hijacked by stowaways on the coast of the Isle of Wight. Now if you don't know what a stowaway is, it's pretty much a person who hops in or on a vehicle of some sort. A lot of the times it would be probably like a cargo ship and the goal is to get from A to B undetected and enter wherever you're trying to get to. If you remember not too long ago, a stowaway tried to get into the UK via a plane and he hid in the landing gear but as the plane was landing he fell into a garden and unfortunately went on to die. Now you might be asking yourself, well if stowaways are just trying to get from A to B undetected then what's gone on here and why is this all over the news and that would be as it stands right now, these stowaways have said to have gone on to hijack this oil tanker off the coast of the Isle of Wight. The Liberian registered oil tanker by the name of the Nave Andromeda had left Lagos night Nigeria on the 6th of October 2020, which was headed for Southampton and the ship was supposed to dock at 10am today. But at around 9am, the ship had gave out a mayday call after it's believed that a group of stowaways became violent after they were discovered on the ship. The ship was also told not to anchor but eventually it did and it's believed that the crew members locked themselves inside a safe room. Initially on the scene was the Coast Guard and the Hampshire Police. They had men on the ground and four helicopters were also seen circling the ship ship, two belonged to the Coast Guard and two belonged to Hampshire Police. A Metropolitan Police helicopter was then seen flying to the scene. At first, the Ministry of Defence came out to decline that military involvement was going to happen, but some eagle-eyed aircraft watchers seen a RAF Chinook flying to the Royal Marines base in Poole, which if you guys didn't know, is home to the SBS or the Special Boat Service. The SBS, for you guys who don't know in a nutshell, is basically the sea version of the SAS. According to some media reports, they've gone on to claim that the SBS were originally on high alert, but with the Chinooks going off the radar recently it's believed that they will be intervening if they haven't already done so by now. The Mirror was reporting that sources had told them they in regards to special forces will be looking where best to get on board the ship and looking at plans to get an idea of the ship's layout. There will be a team deployed by fast attack craft but the sea state is very high making the sea to deck entry difficult. So as I'm making this video ITV News have reported that military assistance has been requested to help with this incident and it's looking as if if the original reports about the SBS being involved in this operation could actually be true. Of course, right now, it's just saying that they've requested the military, but seeing as military aircraft was flying to the SBS base, it kind of does look as if this might be a special forces situation. Of course, in the past as well, when it comes to dealing with hijackings and hostages, then we normally do see special forces on the case, and it is more than likely going to be the SBS. Of course, this is a developing story, so as more information comes out, I'll be sure to keep you guys updated on this one but let me know what you guys think of this in the comment section below give the video a little like and if you want the latest drill street and music news out of the uk be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell spinny boy eat poncho and i'm out